Three. Um, that's three? Mm hmm. What? I thought he was here. <laughs> Crack popping. Body blocking. Hey. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah, Where you been? In these photo shoots. Oh. I thought you was here. I guess so. I'm so used to you being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was here before when you got here. Oh, That's okay. Oh, I was in the shower then. Gotcha. Cool. What photo shoot you had? Outfit of the day. Oh, okay. You hungry? Mm -hmm. All right, we rolling. Mm -hmm. All right, what's cracking like? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Hey, what's this going is another on? Out of Our Podcast. I'm here with <laughs> D Smith, your girl, um, tax preparer, bookkeeper, uh, owner of uh, Saving Your Wallet, Better Than Amazing Hauling. Uh, Credit repair, you name it, I do it. Get at you, girl. And I'm here with Chase Way. All What's right. Going on? Driver Squad. Not much. I'm doing better than amazing. How are you? I'm doing good. Nice to see y'all. We've been out, what, a couple of months or a month? It's just been a month, right? It's just been a month. Just been a month. And I'm cold. He said he hot, so I'm cold. But so. Let's start off what I admire about you. Come on. I admire the fact that you can travel like I want to travel now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I admire. <laughs> I admire it. I, I'm not jealous. I admire the fact that um, you are, you have the opportunity to travel mm -hmm. and to see things and not having to say what I'm saying at this age. Meaning? Meaning, um, I'm about to be 45 this month, guys. 19 days. And if you always know, in September, you know, I always do a countdown of my birthday. So, I will be 45. I am not ashamed to say this because I remember, and I probably said this last time, uh, it was a lady at the... Uh, a store and they mm -hmm. called me mm -hmm. and um, I was just turning 18 and I was like I'm so sick of getting carded you know which of course I probably looked like I was about 14 <laughs> anyway um, but um, she said baby you're going to appreciate you know, this when you get my age. And I was like, I'm not messed up. You know, I really want to say <laughs> F the, but I ain't messed up. I'm talking about now. But now I understand what she meant by that. That because I look so young, embrace it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, to say that I embraced it, but I also, you know, uh, got in a situation to where I had to grow up, be a mom, and... Um, I just remember still traveling, and don't get me wrong, I was out there doing, going places and stuff, but when it became a time for me to get out the streets, mm -hmm. and then, you know, really focus on you, um, your age is when I stopped traveling. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm married, because... I wasn't able to continue, which I did go. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I just didn't go where I wanted to go when I wanted to go. It always had to be planned. Mm -hmm. And 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 then it was different. It was more of taking y'all places. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's a difference. So I went. It's just that it wasn't what freely in my choice or, you know, um, Things that I would have wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Um, 25. If I could turn back to the age of five. But. 
I'm glad that I was I'm able to give you that gift. Thank which you. that's what um pretty much my sacrifice is about. So thank you for using your freedom, your um what did you call it in our conversation? It's a, a privilege mm -hmm. and and using it well. So I admire you with that. <laughs> All of that to say that. <laughs> Wasn't that crazy? Well yeah. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> But guess what? I can do that now at 45. Comfortably. Comfortably, yes. And guess what, guys? After he tells me what he admired me about, I'm going to tell y'all some news that happened to me last month. And then we'll get into what we've been into and what we doing and things like that. So, your turn. Uh, I'm our that uh <laughs> make you laugh all the time. <laughs> I'm our uh your persistence on uh putting finances or having finances financial conversations. Cause um a lot of time I just be thinking, what would life be like if math wasn't a priority in my life like if I didn't think about nothing dealing with numbers how would I be able to operate and it's like I know other people that are bookworms when it comes to grammar and all of that but when it comes to numbers oh my gosh and I just appreciate numbers and everything <laughs> I just appreciate that that was a that was a, a priority on your list because just hearing how complicated it makes other people yeah it's just be amazing me and that you know what I thought about this when Tiara said she wished I would have instilled math in her more but at the time when she was born I was reading a lot mm -hmm. So, um, reading is what I did with her the most. Mm -hmm. So, it's so funny. She always used to tell Sean, it's not proper. It's just, you know, all of that <laughs> stuff. So, it was English. Um, and I guess she fell in love with the reading because that's what I was doing at the time. When I met Keisha, I was reading books at 14. Math was something I didn't have to study. You know what I'm saying? It came natural. So it wasn't a study thing and um I didn't realize um that for other people it was that difficult. You know what I'm saying? So that was a thing that I didn't think she well, I take this back. It's not that I didn't instill it, it's like at the time after I had you, I wasn't watching her as much. So, if she would have still been around, then, yeah, she would have got it at that point, too. But after um, you were born, and um, she, I think Keisha, I don't know if somebody else would start watching them or what. Uh, she wasn't bringing her around as much. But, of course, we would get her, you know, but she wasn't there every day like she was. Because she was there every day and i want to say after that because after she had reagan she, you know she um stopped doing hair and stuff and working at another job so um and then tiara was in school when she got into kindergarten of course we wasn't watching her no more because she was in school with marmel so at that point it was you know all that teaching wasn't she wasn't around for that so hmm. And I, but I did more reading with her, more math with you. So, but yeah, cool. I'm glad you uh, <laughs> realized that. Because a lot of people don't understand that math is in everything. You can factor numbers into anything that you talk about. Anything. Anything. Yeah. And then when you do that, People were like, you're trying to be smart ass. 
<laughs> and it's like, no, I mean, this is really like a one plus one thing. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, what you mean? <laughs> For all y'all math geeks out there, I'm sure y'all understand what we're talking about. But yeah, that's true. So thank you. You're welcome. Come on, tell me the big news. Oh, okay. So last month. So last month, um, for about a week, I'm going to start off with this and how it went. For a week, you know, with um, the business that we have, our dump trucking business. The transmission needed to be rebuilt, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, we were down a week. Okay. And so, um, Joe had found this guy in uh, Augusta mm -hmm. to rebuild the transmission. And then we needed a new clutch. So, um, he said, you know, he'll charge 2500 but of course the clutch was included and it ended up being $3,300. So, that Saturday, we go pick up the truck, write the check, and we had a, we knew we had another check coming that next week. So, mm -hmm. we're like, dang, this is going to be tight. Mm -hmm. So, that next day, which it was Sunday, we go down to the casino. Mm -hmm. And... So I'm like, Joe was like, okay, babe, we're going to the casino. I said, okay, cool. And I'm thinking to myself, we really don't need to be going to no casino. We just spent $3,300. When this check clear and his check clear for paying him, it's going to be pretty tight. So anyway, I didn't say nothing. We rolled down there and um, gets $300 out. And um, he gave me $100 to play. And he goes on. But he always come back because I'm pretty much sitting where I'm at. And I wasn't doing nothing on that machine. I got up and found the machine that I normally uh, do good on. And it's a penny machine. Now, I used to play the quarter machines and hot springs. But now I'm addicted to the penny machines because you can really play longer in just the strategy of you have. Depending on the machine. So... I get, I find him, and he hit on some machines, so he hit about 240 or whatever on one little ticket he gave me, and then 204. So I goes around behind him, and I start hitting on that, and so we had like three tickets, boom. Did good, played back a little bit, and by the time it, we felt like, you know, okay, we're going down, let's go. So we go in, cash our tickets in, which at this point we had about two sixty nine. So okay. we looking like okay, we lost about thirty one dollars. You know, mm -hmm. he took three hundred dollars out. So come on, he said, well, let's find a um, Wheel of Fortune. So he goes around and find a Wheel of Fortune, and I had twenty dollars play up on my card, which it doesn't work with all machines. So my um, machine that I like to play on, it didn't work on that one. Okay. So I put it in there, took my little $20 fast. So he said, baby, let's go walk around here. So what we did was we walked towards the front over by the food section, mm -hmm. and but further on that way, you know, at the back. So we just come up to these machines and it was just going, you know, the lights already looked like it had been hidden or whatever. No one on these machines and it was a five cent i was like okay so well baby give me twenty dollars let me um see what this is about didn't sit down because we were really on our way out the door so i you know we stood behind the chair i put my card in and uh joe was like well how does this work i said oh hot hit i said well you got to get 15 hot hits you know mm -hmm. and to get the jackpot and so I hit my button the first time. Didn't even pay attention to what the spin was because I can't even remember. And then um, he hit his. And so he was like, that got to be a lot. I said, yeah, because you got to get it all across here, you know. Mm -hmm. Hit the second button. And that hot hit, hot hit, hot <laughs> hit, hot hit. And, the, and when Joe realized 
Because I was just like this. And he did this. And that last one, he was like, come on, come on. And then it just stopped. But it wrong. So I hit, uh, I think it was 12. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, I end up uh, hitting for $5,189 and some change. Mm -hmm. And boy, me and Jeff say, right on time, we high five each other. <laughs> I was like, boy, God, I always be on time. I said, you know not to put God in this gambling thing, but <laughs> hey, <laughs> it is what it is. We just spent $3,300. And... Uh, I was like, hit the machine, you know, I'm on face, you know, I videotaped it and stuff. And I was like, talking, where the money reside, where the money reside. <laughs> and I said, push the button, call the attendant, it's time to go, it's time to go. So anyway, that was my blessing. We got $5,100 and uh, super excited on that. And it felt good because number one, we was down for that week. And... Mm -hmm. um, that's a that was a good way to start that week off. It was. It was. It was great. And I've never hit my me personally hit won anything like that. Really? Matter of fact, I never. I won some things like you know at baby showers and things mm -hmm. like that. But a big thing like that, fifty one hundred. You know, it may not be a lot to some, but it's a lot to me mm -hmm. from winning that money like that. So. I was excited, and of course, I'm a gambler. Let's let that be known too. I gamble, and um, I play the scratch offs and all this type of stuff. So, I mean, I have a system, and it's with numbers. So, <laughs> hey, <laughs> and it works for me. <laughs> so, yeah, it was good. It was a good feeling. It was such a great feeling because I'm good with numbers that it shocked me to I didn't even know what I hit. Because I was looking at the credit. So, uh, for people that don't gamble and can't read the slot machines, I had a lot of comments on there. Girl, what you hit? What you hit? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was good. So, we're going back, of course. <laughs> Sunday, and then we went money management. Yeah, money. We went though last Saturday, this past Saturday, and um, didn't. I mean, we did some good, and but not good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we stopped in Pine Bluff, and I always tell Joe this all the time: the scratch offs in. The rural areas is what you hear. So we stopped at a gas station. I told him, give me a scratch off. With that scratch off, he bought two. I hit $100 and I hit $5. I said, oh, yeah. It's time. You know, this is me. I said, I'm still hot. I'm still hot. But I believe Saturday is when the casino takes your money to feed. You know, you just, you might get some people that hit here and there. But it's not that many hits on on during the weekend. So I told Joe when we go back, it's gonna have to be on a Sunday or a Monday. You know, you stick with it. You got to stick, yeah. Because I have a method of the things that I do, <laughs> and because I hit on that Sunday, Sunday <laughs> is the day that we are gonna be going play. So, um, for my birthday, I booked a Airbnb. Um, and it's called the Million Dollar View. Mm -hmm. It's a one bedroom, you know, like a cottage house. And outside of this home is a beautiful view of the mountains and stuff. And you know, I'm um, nature. Amazing. Yeah, I'm. I love that. And then they said at night you can see the stars and all that. So um, that's what I'm doing for my birthday. Because I was torn between, should I have a party at 45? But, you know, all this Delta variant and COVID and things that's going on. Uh, I could have been like, hey, everybody needs to be tested. But I am not going to force anybody, you know what I'm saying, to take a test and all that crap. So, I just decided to spend my weekend with my husband. And then on Monday we come back. So, that's when I do... Family, you know, so that's 
my thing. What's your plan for your September? Okay. Um, I yeah. said that's your plan. Yes, that is my plans. Yes. That's what's up. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, and keep grinding. I am, I'm going to say this. I almost hit the jackpot. If I would hit the jackpot and it was 53000 I was going to retire myself from my job. That way I could be focused on getting um, bids and stuff for the other business. So. That's going to be dope. Yeah, so whatever. I've been dreaming about fives. And it's so funny that you started off with this. And it's just making me think about all my number stuff. But that's another thing. I've dreamed about five. So I was I have an app on my phone called Jackpot App. Yeah, I just don't know. The Jack I have the really report. I mean I got the uh, roulette thing on mine. I do you. And on the jackpot you have the numbers where you play the daily numbers. Uh, it is the cash four. Mm-hmm. It always has a five thousand. This I've been like I was gonna hit. I knew that I was gonna hit five thousand. I was thinking I was gonna hit on here, but didn't know I was gonna hit at the casino. But this is what I was gonna do because. What I've noticed now, I'm a, I always go through their numbers and see what it does. So I play different numbers. Mm -hmm. It might be your birthday, my birthday, you know, things like that. And but now I am gonna be playing with these four numbers that I do. But see, I hadn't say, seen seen it, so which is good. I hadn't seen it yet. So, um. I was too late today to do my stuff. But yes, um, I like to play those now on here. The natural state and I like to play the... So it's just uh, random numbers on there, huh? You can do random numbers or you can do um, your own. Pick your own. And that's only with the jackpot set up and ain't no other games on there? No, this is... Yeah, these are only... These are the lottery games. Oh, okay. Lucky for life, I like that one as well. See, lucky for life, that's what you really want to hit—a thousand dollars per day. If you get all the numbers on there, but I have a set number that I play. And the thing about this, if you look at your orders, the past, I can just pull that up and do my tickets, cause these right here is my numbers. So. Yeah, and that's two dollars. So that's what I do on that. And you can add money straight from your um your bank account. But that's my September. Go for the from here to the end of the year is just to continue to fill out what I need to do and by I by December hopefully having a big contract and stuff. So we might be having some good news in a couple of weeks or so. I'm not going to give everything right now, but I think we're going to be um, having some good news to where if this really works out, then I will be retiring in December. And I've been uh, be happy and satisfied because I've always wanted to give a uh, game. I've always wanted to give PTC only 20 years. Yeah, I wanted to be retired by before. Well, at forty-four, so forty-five. That ain't nothing. Some month, you know. So that still mean I would have just did six months over. Yeah. So, what's your plans? What's going on in Chaseway World? Only thing that I've really been focused on is uh making sure that. Uh, I'll be done driving probably next year, probably the same time around my birthday. So, um, I finally figured out what I can do on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, starting with the cash giveaway, the weekly cash giveaway. Build that up, be able to have a, uh, get, put other people in position to be able to win cash to invest that way. Mm -hmm. So, that's going to be something right there. I'm going to call Kevin to see how that's going to be set up where it, I know it'll be considered underneath donation and charitable events, mm -hmm. but uh, 
like I said, I'm still, even though I know things, I'm still want to take a step back and just see how to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I I think in this point, uh, taking advantage of my help. I'm not saying I don't do it, but a little bit more percentage of just asking a little bit more. Yeah. So it's just been one of those things. Instead of just being a fool, open opening my mouth and just asking questions and things like that. Uh, still going to casino, still investing in stocks, still investing in crypto. Uh, let me see, I canceled something, but I can't remember what I canceled. Did uh, you cancel the my icon? I did. Okay. I canceled something, oh. Uh, so since I, did you cancel that biz thing too? Biz, what you talking about? Yeah, we. I think we all on that, and I was gonna cancel that. That uh, some biz thing that we remember with me, you, and Renita, and we was doing that thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Have, did uh, you cancel I that? I ain't canceled. I gotta go. It's nothing coming out. Yeah, it's just that. Yeah, it's just sign, and that's what I want because I forgot to tell you about that too. All right. Uh, Cause I got the council. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, gonna be working six to six or five days, and just gonna rotate like this. So the days where I don't go uh, see Alana, I'm gonna work uh, six days. So let's talk about this Alana. What's up? Did you talk to me about her? I don't remember. Mm -mm. Okay, so who is she? What she got going on? Uh, she's on her way to be, become a doctor. Mm -hmm. um, we met at a kickback. Invited her to a casino, and we've been talking since then. I need to see a picture of her. You said I was gone? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. What's you got she any more from? questions? Yeah. Where's she, she from? Oh. Uh, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. Uh, yeah, I must not been talking to you. No, or something. I just, I just forgot. Oh, okay. Welcome back. <laughs> it's gonna have a field day with this. I need to see emojis and stuff. What's My dad used to be a truck driver, Withers. Okay. Lana Withers. Hmm. You know, that's uh, the, uh, Eddie's last name. I want but she not, is she from here? <laughs> oh, okay. Like out there. Past four dogs. Where you meet her at? Here. She went to school here. She from there, but they stay here. She went to North Little Rock? Uh, Mills. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. How old is she? Oh, uh, she's 21. Hmm. You going back to the young, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, um, yeah, she wasn't there when I, she was there. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I walked off, Carla and Tiffany made it in. I, I, I talked to, her. uh. And then when, uh, they was at the sports bar, her and her friend, they was at the other place. Oh, okay. Cool. So, um, and now... So you said next year you're gonna be quitting and then you're gonna be doing more on um, YouTube? Uh, that's that's the plans. Uh, then as I'm building up uh, inventory and stuff like that, gonna be running like, probably just gonna be uh, as that build up, I might not get into selling shoes or whatnot, but I know I'll still be able to do it. And it's just one of those things that's, uh, 
I understand I, I enjoy doing a lot of things, so mm. I just don't want to just do one thing. I think I'm just going to keep it that way. I just don't want to just do one thing or a few things. I want to keep doing multiple doing things because things. that's how your mind works, like your mama. Be dabbing and everything. And I think I finally got a nice little flow because even though I would be able to talk about stocks, but it won't be as heavy and draining. Doing a giveaway, it would be easier because all I would have to be doing is transferring names over and then still 30 minutes a day. I learned about new stocks and stuff like that. So it's just one of those things just, uh, just having self-realization of I can just have those moments of just separating, being drained versus yeah. something that comes naturally. Yeah. And then being able to uh, see other people either invest or whatever they need that money for and just to see that excitement of they won. Yeah. And it would be weekly so it would just be more chances and they will just grow from that. Yeah. And that's, I think that's what I miss from stock. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good thing. I like that. Um, good for you. I think you got that from me. I mean, mine constantly. I always thinking and 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 having ideas and um, meaning with me too. Anything that I do that feel like I'm draining, like I'm really working, I don't want to do it like yeah, that. It yeah. So. If I'm not enjoying doing what I'm doing, then I'm going to figure something else out to, or do something else that I enjoy doing. Yeah, and that's why, like, for the past two months, it was just like, I stopped caring. It was like, it became draining, so I was just like, okay, what is something that I genuinely want? It's been two months. It have not been a month. Um, it was like, what do I really want to do? And when I thought about doing weekly cash giveaways, I was like, oh, that was what made me into stocks because I was helping people know more about stocks daily. Mm -hmm. But once everyone knew, it was more so uh, what stocks on your radar now instead of more so teaching. It was more so sharing. And when you share, you got to know, you got to be able to know Better. your root. And it was just more so not basic anymore i guess that's what what the things i think that's what i enjoy about doing a lot of things i don't want to take it to an intermediate i want to keep it basic because i don't i never i to me personally i like to keep things in basic because i don't never want to go to intermediate because i know i'm focus on it because yeah. now i want to perfect it and then it take away from everything else so it's just like long as I keep and learning more about the basic, it, once I perfect it, I don't want to touch perfect, it no more. Yeah, it, it's like, okay, now it's at a point you should know this because I didn't talk about the basic yeah. so long or whatever. Yeah, I think but that just... But I'm going to say this as an entrepreneur, and if you look at the videos and stuff that you always look at of mm -hmm. other people and listen to them, they're going to always say, go back to the basics. Mm -hmm. And that's what business owners, big business, uh -huh, always lose. Their integrity, their, uh, their vision, and their why. Mm -hmm. of the, they lose all of those when they become big. Because then your values change mm -hmm. and everything else change, you know, uh, even to the point of you um, marketing for customers and then you start treating your customers a different way. But you always got to go back to the basic of why you even started your business. Why did you do this? And that's a great thing. And I'm like you. Um, stick with the basics. I will be your, you know, it's your how-to person. How do you uh, decide to get a stock? You know, how mm -hmm. to do, that's what you need. Yeah, those, what are the, those are the enjoyment that you get 
to give to other people that you share with other people, your how to. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Google. Yeah. So you being that Google information, and that is perfect. Um, I like that. So I, I'm excited about the weekly uh, giveaway. That's good. That's so. great. I seen that on there. And uh, since I announced it, gained, uh, I want to say about nine, ten subscribers. So it just dope how. Mm hmm I seen them um, one of them on there that I watched for you, and you were um, in the truck and doing your shoutouts to new. And that's another thing. I don't follow, and it's so funny. I don't follow you like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm so stuck on building this business that the videos that come out, I don't even watch these. Definitely don't watch these. I definitely don't. I don't like to see myself. I don't like to hear myself. And so I'm glad you guys be enjoying it because sometimes I can see the comments and you know, uh, now I did see you in your dad's video, and I read in the comment, dude was like, oh, that's dope. You know, are y'all related? And that was that so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, that's my dad. Oh, he said <laughs> So, it was funny, but I got to go back. I want to watch the video with you and um, daddy, and then you and your nana. Because mm -hmm. I can not um, know exactly what she be talking about and stuff. It'd be so funny. She's like the same and have she always been. And then of course, uh, Papa would be like, you know, he on that uh <laughs> that chase. Uh the banker. The mm -hmm. big banker. He always called you that so yeah. I'm excited to see so those two videos I, I know I'm gonna watch. But uh I'm like probably your number one supporter and not supporter because I don't watch half of the videos that's out that I need to. And I'm going to say this on record. I said this before that I'm going to have to go way back and do, but that would be something I would do, you know what I'm saying, after I retire. I can't be doing this. When I come home, I have my boom, 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 mm -hmm. and then that's that, so... But I do make time for this, you know, I make time for other things. Mm -hmm. I just, I ain't even watched doggone videos. But I know, I'll watch your numbers, though. Mm -hmm. Again, number thing. But I watched your numbers. <laughs> you almost hit that three. You should be. Yeah, well, I'm almost at three. Yeah. I'm almost at 2,900. Yeah, I'm finna say the last I seen was 2.83. Yeah, I'm almost at uh, 2,900. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I watched the numbers, though. You know, I'm, boy, it's, it's been growing. And I, uh, oh, I know what I wanted to do, and I didn't. I should have brought my laptop out, and I found some old pictures. All of these pictures of you, of course. Um, it's a video recording. I know you remember this that you did when we were in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And I had that little camcorder thing and you was recording and you went up to Coolio and you went up to me and Mama and I was like, look how big Mama was. But anyway, I have that flash drive that has pictures and videos I found because I was looking for something else. And then the pictures that I found, I was going to save it and do it here, but then I was like, no. Nah. But I say I'm just gonna leave it over there. The pictures of you and the Porsche I found in the closet because I was looking actually for uh, an old school picture of me and Fanny that I was gonna put on Facebook. That when we were in the, our chemistry class and it had us, and I was gonna do the twiddle d twiddle dum, and then I was gonna put the other picture I posted of us. And uh, just, you know, make a post on her birthday on that. So, um, I realized that those pictures are mainly pictures that I had up at the other house. You know, down mm -hmm. the hall. And then pictures that we took for uh, a mom on her 60th birthday mm -hmm. with all the grandkids and all that. 
And so my pictures are up in the attic in my stuff that I, you know, high school stuff and all that that I still have in my books or whatever. So anyway, I thought that was funny to find out. I was like, gosh, you look like you were in the fifth grade. Don't you think you look young? I look bad. You look I remember taking oh, like, yeah, I remember you... taking that picture. That's the funny part. Yeah. And I was like I had do you remember me saying, Chase, why you didn't tell me that she was gonna wear this color? It's like, it don't care. I don't care. <laughs> it's all right. Cause she in blue and you in this pink and white. Mm -hmm. And you was like, Don't look bad to me. <laughs> I was like, You such a boy. I still think you look good. Yeah, I know. I still, that's the funny thing. I still think you look good. I don't think we were supposed to be matching. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Nah. Yeah. I was like, that looks like one that's of them too traditional. Mm. But I mean, that's unique. That's what you want to be. That's great. But yeah, I didn't want to buy them pictures because of that. But. That was your little girlfriend at the time, so. Anyway, I just thought, I was like, now that you have this hair, I, it is. The baby face killer. Yes, the baby face, which I think I knew that you was going to. Matter of fact, that when you I was gonna made it home, I sent it to her. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. You still talk to her? Mm-mm. Last time, this how long ago it was. Oh, God. <laughs> it was more so just funny. <laughs> she's mom now. Is she? Mm hmm I've had men in. Just like one. one. What's she, is she still here? Oh, no, they moved. No, move. she ain't been walking. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Funny. Oh, and it's videos of her when she was going to drill uh, that little dance thing. Yeah. I recorded that. All types of stuff, so yeah. That's going to be fun to show Brandy, too. Mm-hmm. It's pictures of, matter of fact, it's pictures of Brandy and um, Katrina's daughter, Maya. Maya, when we were at um, Jaquavian's birthday party in the backyard, that. yes, of all of them. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. And uh, Mad Man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so so. It's yeah. That's gonna be hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, anyway, I just, um, made me think about them two scrapbooks. Well, that's probably what we can do next video. We go through pictures. Yeah. I have to go get, get my box up there. Yeah, we can go through pictures. We can set up the different cameras and go through pictures. Yep. I that's exactly what we can do. We can set it up, go through pictures. I like that idea. Well, that's all I have. That's it. I need to go. Um, I go to casino. Did you not go last night? I did. Oh, you going? I didn't have a roulette. All right, you going so tonight? I was on the craft table. You going tonight? Mm-hmm. That show you the the hot hit. Mm hmm. See. Try to play this machine. <laughs> Cause I'm going back to play that mud. You know that that mud. That's that's a, like a, a <laughs> mother. No, uh, I think that was just a. Um, a word that we used out at um, Shuttergard. Trying to see if I will. Call hot hit. What the was? Ah, oh, he's in my way. Oh, that's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. All right. 
I walk around and look for it. See? Pop it. it. Now it's gonna take you fast now. Um <laughs> this is what I didn't realize either. I play uh 150 credit because that's what you need to do, play the 150 credit in, I think. And I need you to figure this out, so we need to figure out about because it's five cent and one fifty a credit. When we hit that first one, Joe was like, "It take you by at least by eight dollars." I said, "For real?" Yeah, it's about everything by five cents. So uh, if you do uh, ten, that'd be fifty cent. If you do uh, twenty, that'd be a dollar. So it go increment so twenty. So five cent. Mm -hmm. So what's the calculation? That's what I want from the five cent to from one your winnings. So seven dollars and fifty cents. So how did you just do that? Do they five cent? Uh huh. Times a hundred and fifty credit. Why I didn't get that when I was doing that? Probably just put point five. Got point. Point over. That's why. That is fucking why. And I got the yes. Okay. That's what I, I was like. See y'all later. All right, guys. Uh, till next time. Um. We're going through pictures next time. We're going through pictures next time. So November will be picture month. October. Oh, uh, October. See, so just let you know when you get old. You finish time. October will be pictures. So stay tuned, y'all. Be safe out there. And um, hopefully, October, I have some more better news too. Some more good news for. No, some better than amazing news. How about that? I like that one. You like that? Throw that in there. Alright, y'all. Peace. Peace. Come on. <laughs> he likes that when I'm silly. Hmm. My baby. Hmm. Love you. Love you too. Alright. See? And. Yeah, I got mine. I was like, dang. Just Sunday only. I'm going on that day too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Did yeah that's dope. Call it a while. All right. Let me cut this. Eat. 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 Eat.